Okay, I need you to listen and listen well. This is important. Do not be distracted by what is on my body. Look right here. Despite what some people may say online, I am not a newsbreaker or reporter. I am an aggregator who then says dumb things to make learning about what's happening in fantasy more entertaining. Today, I'm going to bring you speculation. Everything I say here today is me speculating. There is nothing beyond just my own gut reaction to some observations. I want to make that absolutely clear. Next slide. Wait, no, I'm, al I'm alone, so... um. Actually, I need to talk about what's on the screen too, so let's just get into it. In addition to the upcoming Amazon show, it appears that Wheel of Time is also now going to get a trilogy of movies, this has been confirmed by several outlets, covering the Age of Legends. Now, in concept, I'm a fan. I'm a very big fan in some ways of bringing this to life in a live action trilogy of movies. This is one of the few instances where I actually think a movie would be the better way to go than a TV show. We could just cover three spoilery, very important events that happen in the Age of Legends that lead up to the series, and that would be cool. So I like that. I have some questions about whether Robert Jordan would ever want this era of Wheel of Time to be fleshed out, but without any direct no's from his estate, I'm fine with it. But what we have, though, is something that we aren't really sure where it's coming from. All we know is it seems Amazon is not attached, even though they are currently handling the TV show, and something called Radar Pictures is, who have been involved with some successful adaptations before. Next slide. I stipulate that the Wheel of Time showrunners and Amazon as a whole, as well as Sony, because they are also involved, are not happy about this new announcement. Why? Because they haven't promoted it on their social media at all. Not even a retweet or a like. They're ignoring this, which is weird. Usually when an IP has anything that's brought to it to raise its value, the people who are involved will want to promote it. Here is the Wheel of Time Twitter account's Twitter. Nothing. They are ignoring the fact that there is a trilogy of movies coming out to the same IP as they are working on. There also has not been a peep from Brandon Sanderson or Jordan's estate and Harriet, so we're really left wondering who's advocating for this? Who involved the Wheel of Time IP with Red Eagle? So here's what I'm going to postulate Propose? P, P, some P word. The Wheel of Time's being exploited! Ah! Not really. Okay, so I'm actually not going to say that I necessarily hate that these movies are possibly going to be made. And the one person we know attached, this writer here who also worked on Thor and Fringe, that's neat. I got no issue there. What I do have a problem with is what I think, again, this is all stipulation, is my opinion and observations is happening. Red Eagle Entertainment, who we know still holds some sway over the IP of the Wheel of Time, I believe is trying to leverage the additional publicity and value the IP is getting from the show that I think they do not have very much of their hand in at all. So they're probably just trying to find some way to get profit here. There's still control over certain things by selling off rights, by selling off what they didn't sell to Amazon to someone else, which does not necessarily sound like a bad thing. And I don't think it is necessarily horrible. But I start to get nervous when I come to this realization. Combine the it's not taking place in the same time as the Wheel of Time TV show is going to be taking place in with the fact that people over at the Amazon show seem to be ignoring this altogether. And my end result conclusion is Amazon's hand might be forced here. And let me explain why. So when you hear of something called the Age of Legends, you can largely infer what it is. It's something that is an era of time in a long bit of distance before our show. So if we have a series of movies back there, Amazon would be safe, right? There's no way it can mess with the canon of their series. Series, and even if those movies flop, worst case that happens is they have a little bit more of an uphill battle in terms of winning over the public audience for their show or, you know, the second, third season of their show because these movies are way earlier on in production. The risk seems minimal, except 
the actual canon could be messed with and confuse people. I'm not going to get into details in case you're here without having read the series, you don't want spoilers, but there is some overlap with canon that if you make some changes to the lore of things that happen in Age of Legends, especially with a few characters, you could mess up Amazon's potential storytelling because they have the hurdle of trying to condense and make the story come through in the show all the smoother, but that becomes even more difficult if certain elements you choose to leave out or focus on are also being distorted in the public's view through these movies which you have no narrative control over. Add in the additional concerns of marketing competition, release date conflicts, and then the representations of the looks of cultures throughout the timeline of the show, which is an extremely important part of Jordan's storytelling. So what option is Amazon left with? Well, all we know is Radar is attached and they could just be someone who's looking to make a buck as well. I think they're trying to force Amazon's hand to step in and buy the rights for these movies and either control how they're going to go or squash it. Either way, I think these movies are being put forth as a tactic to get money from the studio that's been willing to show that they have cash to throw around with putting two of the most expensive shows in television history to the screen within the next couple of years. And that, ladies and gentlemen, puts a bad taste in my mouth. That's why I think we haven't seen any reaction from the Amazon Wheel of Time stuff because they're not wanting this to get attention. It's why I think this kind of did feel like it came out of nowhere and it has a writer attached who may be as passionate as he says. This is no hate towards him, but he could just be hoping that Amazon is forced to add his slate, his a plan for the Age of Legends to their plans already. I do not know Hollywood that much. This is a conspiracy theory, but it's one that's making me uncomfortable because the show has so many hurdles of things to get right. It's already in a challenging position of trying to adapt the biggest American fantasy epic ever to the screen. And now there's people muddying the waters. And it feels to me like, yeah, this is Amazon. It's a huge studio with loads of resources. I don't feel bad for them necessary. It feels like there's a ship that's on course to bring us something. And suddenly someone's trying to push an iceberg in the way and say, hey, We'll make this harder for you unless you give us cash. I also think this has led minor credence by the fact that they're not waiting to see if the show is a success before making moves on the movies. I mean, think about it. If you were going to invest a ton of your money into this, wouldn't you want to see if the IP is about to really explode in value or fall first? I would wait until after and then jump on the train. But now it seems like they're trying to jump on a train where there's no time rush as quickly as possible. And it's a new way of doing this with IPs that I've not really been aware of seeing before, if this is the case, but I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. It's a conspiracy video for sure, but I think I'm onto something here. Something smells fishy, and I don't like the smell of fish. Anyway, everybody, like and subscribe if you have not already. Hit the Patreon to support what I do here, and have a good one, y'all. Peace.